everyone in the previous session we were discussing about the different methods available to find the initial basic feasible solution for the transportation problem they are northwest corner method least cost method row minima method column minima method and vogel's approximation method in the last session we have solved a problem transportation problem to find the initial basic feasible solution use, using northwest corner method how did we uh, choose uh, uh, the allocation how did we start uh, allocating how did we start allocating is you have to first choose the cell for allocation allocation is nothing but uh, satisfying supply and demand or balancing supply and demand so in northwest corner rule with the least uh, cost matrix you have to divide the cost matrix into four quadrants uh, east west north and south and we chose the northwest corner cell for the allocation to begin with so how, how do you start allocating you have to choose a cell for allocation so northwest corner method says you have to first start with the or you have to uh, choose the northwest corner cell each in each step for the allocation and in today's class we are going to learn the second method uh, that is least cost method that is finding the initial basic feasible solution for the given transportation problem using least cost method So uh, we have considered uh, the same problem. Uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm considering or I will solve the same problem with different methods so that we will have comparison with the solution we have got or you can uh, then conclude which is the best method to uh, use for finding the initial basic feasible solution. So in today's uh, session we are going to solve uh, the transportation problem using least cost method. So uh, you have to consider the cost matrix and you have to whole of the cost matrix you have to choose and you have to start with the allocation for the cell which has the least cost. So uh, in the step one I have rewritten the problem again, problem here. So in the cost matrix, in the cost matrix you have to choose the cell which has the least cost. Before that in all the methods you have to first check in each step you have to check whether the transportation problem is balanced or not so we will first check whether this is balanced or not the sum of supply is 34 sum of demand is 34 so the um, transportation problem is balanced and uh, in the least cost method you have to choose the cell which has the least cost for the allocation here in this least uh, in this cost matrix this cell s3 d2 has the least cost so we are going to allot for this cell uh, when you choose the cell uh, corresponding uh, supply and demand to be considered whichever is less uh, either supply or demand so whichever is less should be allotted first so in D2 uh, demand is 8 the destination 2 is demanding for uh, 8 products but uh, source 3 can uh, supply 18 products so uh, whichever is less should be uh, taken for allocation so 8 the demand can be satisfied uh, uh, soon so we have given the allocation so the demand of destination 2 is satisfied but uh, out of 18 products we have taken only 8 and given to destination 2 from source 3 so what are we going uh, left out with we are left out with 10 more products uh, with s3 after uh, allocating for the least cost in the first step now we are in second step uh, once we uh, rewrite the uh, problem with the remaining uh, rows and columns so here D2 uh, the demand of destination 2 was satisfied so I have not uh, copied down the destination 2 here that column. So we have uh, left, left out with 3 rows and 3 columns 3 sources and uh, 3 destinations. In the remaining uh, cost matrix you have to search for the uh, or choose the cell which has the least cost. So this has the least cost so we have to start allocating for this corresponding supply and demand you have to check supply is less than demand so I am giving uh, the supply to uh, wh whatever source 1 had I have given it to destination 4 so whatever the products which were uh, which was manufactured uh, at uh, source 1 is, uh, is exhausted 
so demand of uh, uh, destination 4 was 14 we have satisfied with 7 products so demand is remaining with 7 more products so moving on to the next step uh, we are left out with uh, source uh, 3 uh, source 2 and, and 3 destination 1 3 and 4 destination 1 3 and 4 with the remaining cost matrix search for the least cost so 20 happens to be this cell happens to be the least cost cell so I'm going for the allocation demand is less than supply so this is satisfied we are left out with 11 more products at source 3 so uh, make sure that you are uh, checking whether the uh, problem is or the table is balanced or not uh, if it is not balanced please recheck you would have gone uh, wrong somewhere so I have written it in each step so that uh, uh, to make sure that it is balanced moving on to the step 4 in the least cost um, here we have two cells with have which has uh, the same cost so either you can go for allocating for the s2 d3 cell or you can allocate for S3 D1 cell whichever you take uh, we are just finding out the initial basic feasible solution once we get you get the final solution uh, you get the same solution irrespective of for which cell you have allocated while finding the initial basic feasible solution so you can take whichever cell you want I am going to uh, allocate it for this cell S3 S2 D3 with the least uh, uh, supply we have uh, compared to the demand so this is satisfied we are left out with six more products which are in demand from the uh, destination three moving on to step five so we have le left out with two cells 40 happens to be the least cost compared to 70 so demand is less than supply so this is done so we are left out with six more products here so i've copied down the same thing here so we have supply and demand equal I'm allocating it so this is satisfied so after satisfying supply and demand uh, I suggest you to write down the allocation table like this so that you will not miss out any of the allocations uh, I've written the allocation table and I've calculated hope you know how to find out the initial basic feasible solution it's the allocation into the cost allocation into cost so I've written everything and for this uh, problem we are going to get 934 as a solution and uh, I'm assuming it uh, they have not specified anything if it is uh, in rupees uh, you have to specify the unit along with the solution thank you Thank you.